Today, Congress figured out a way to force AIG execs to give back those bonuses. They may have to pay a hefty tax. The House passed legislation that will pin a 90% tax on the controversial bonuses at AIG and other companies. It still has to hit the floor of the Senate, and Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey is all for it. We'd love to go to 100, but you might, you, you might break the law in doing that. Uh, we do have to observe we are a nation of laws, even when, even when we're all mad. But 90% uh, is a, a pretty high number. And if we can go to 99.9, we'll vote for that. And today, news also broke that Senator Chris Dodd actually inserted language into the stimulus plan protecting those bonuses. Dodd says it was at the direction of the White House. Meantime, some local people are gathering downtown to make their feelings known about AIG. Tamika Artist live there with more for us tonight. Tamika? That's right, we're live right now in downtown Pittsburgh, just a few blocks away from where that protest happened earlier this afternoon. But we do have some video to show you of what happened here just a short while ago. Take a look. AIG is arrogance, incompetence, and greed. Close to 100 people marched in front of the AIG offices at 6th and Liberty Avenue. They were there to demand that workers and their families form the cornerstone of the new economy, not the banks and not top executives. In addition to chanting and holding up signs, the demonstrators passed out literature asking the public to demand passage of the Employee Free Choice Act as well as a stronger bank reform. The economy is not working for the poor and it's not working for middle income people. And we support the Employee Free Choice Act to make it easier for unions to be, and for workers to be represented, to make a living wage, to have health care. We want uh, the corporate greed to stop and the, and the common people shouldn't have to pay for the greed of those that have uh, made some huge, huge errors. Make the economy work for us. United and was part of a national action day taking place in 35 different states. Now there was a large police presence down here in Pittsburgh, downtown Pittsburgh a little while ago, but all in all the demonstration was peaceful and there were no incidents to report. Reporting live from downtown Pittsburgh, I'm Tamika Artist to Channel 11 News.